Over here, Emmy. Can we make this quick? I've got to figure out how to exterminate a rat named Ramsey. Sorry to steal your valuable time. <sighs> Somebody's in a bad mood. I can't help it if Kevin Collins is still breathing. What a horrible thing to say. Horrible, but true, right? Come on. I know how you feel about him. You know, when Ed first told us that someone close to one of us was going to be coming back, I felt so sure that it was Kevin, that this was my purpose, was to bring him back with us. But Kevin didn't cross over. I guess it wasn't his time. I'm sorry. No, it's even worse. So I actually wanted a man to die, and I might have been responsible. I've, I've been sitting here trying to figure out if I might have caused Kevin's accident. You did nothing. He just wandered out into a storm. But that's just it, is that I must have heard him calling, and I did nothing. I could have saved him, and I didn't. I thought being an angel was supposed to make me into a better person, but so far, I don't like myself very much. Makes you wonder. Yeah. Just what are we becoming? Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not as though you pushed Kevin in front of a moving bus. You know, I've never stopped loving Kevin. He's a wonderful man with a full, happy life. But when I stood there, watching the doctors trying to save his life, God forgive me, but part of me wanted him to die so that we could finally be together. I mean, good, Amy, what's happening to me? It's not just you. None of us were prepared to come back. One minute we're, we're settling in for our eternal rest, the next minute we come crashing down to Earth to finish our journeys, and we're not even sure what they are anymore. It kind of makes you a little nuts. Well, at least you're finally admitting it. What do you mean? Well, that your earthly journey isn't exactly a mapped out course either. Meaning? Meaning, I don't buy that the only reason you came back is to prove your precious independence. I told you the only thing that was bugging me was this doctor, Chris Ramsey. He saw me in a bar before I died. I tried to deny it, but he has pictures of me. Oh, God. You can't let him find out the truth. How are you going to stop him from checking up on you? I'll sleep with him. You'd actually do that? I'll do whatever it takes to finish what I came back here to do. We're only here for a limited time. And I'm going to finish what I started. Well, I'm done. I'm packing it in. You're just giving up? I thought I came back to Earth to get my portrait painted and to finally say goodbye to Kevin. End that chapter of my life. I mean, that's the promise I made to my husband and to myself. And instead, I betray his wife's trust. I fight with his daughter. I nearly kill the man. And oh, I fall harder for Kevin Collins the second time around. Smart girl. You knew there were risks. We were warned. This isn't a journey for me anymore, Amy. It's a dead end. I'm going to stay far away from Kevin Collins. Can you just walk away? I'm going to try, for Kevin's sake. What about you? What do you mean? You know, you act all tough, like you have no feelings. But I think it's just an act. Well, it's not an act, trust me. Don't sleep with this man, Amy. Well, I mean, unless you really want to. Call his bluff. Before he figures out what's going on, you'll be long gone. Like you said, we only have a few weeks left here. Well, <clears throat> thanks for the advice, but um, I can handle Chris Ramsey. Why even try? We will never be back this way again. This time on Earth has been a gift. Use it wisely. Spend it with someone you care about. And I know there is someone, Amy. You're just too stubborn to admit it. Don't waste time on distractions or lost causes. Because time is running out for all of us.
Ian. Can I see you? It's kind of important. Paige. Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. Lucy said you're feeling much better. Lucy's right. I just saw her out in the parking lot. She's taking Christina home. It's a nice visit, I hope. Yeah. I am glad you came by, though. I was beginning to think you forgot all about me. I'm sorry. I just thought you needed your rest. Trust me, I've had plenty. Not enough time with your family, though. Especially after a scare like this. You and Lucy need to be together. Much more than you have been over the past few weeks. That's why... I made the decision I made. Decision? I'm leaving poor Charles. Paige, your portrait isn't finished yet. It's time, and it's for the best, Kim. You can't go. I'm sorry, I, I won't let you go. You were there with me, Paige. With you? Where? In the tunnel. I saw you. You mean when you were in your coma? I knew I was dying. I'm not sure I can describe it. Try. It was like... being lost between two worlds. And then there you were. Part of me understood. I knew I was dying. And I wasn't scared. Because you were there. Reaching out to me. It was like you were trying to help me cross over. To a better place. Did you think about going with me? Just for a second. I mean, wherever it was that I was taking you. I was so drawn to you. It was so peaceful. But you held back. I heard Lucy's voice. Over my shoulder, she was behind me. She was calling me. I knew I had to go back. Of course. wanted to. But? It wasn't an easy choice. Did you look so beautiful? You look like an angel. Don't say that. Don't ever say that. Say what, Paige? I'm no... I'm not... You're not what? I'm not an angel. You don't know what you're saying. You don't know what you saw. You were dreaming. You were in a coma. It's a hallucination. Paige, where are you going? I had to go, Kevin. I no! To... No. Please. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Come on. Don't... Don't go. Just... Sit with me a while. Please? <laughs> 